press conference at Highbury today and immediately retained the services of Rice, who's led Arsenal in their last two matches. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Difficult to find your place. Yes, he has kept them holding on, but Wenger's found his place at last. The Japanese club Grampus 8 will keep him tied until the end of this month. Then he'll officially take over at Highbury on October the 1st, with Pat Rice confirmed as his number two. I think he's competent, he knows well English football, and he's a real Arsenal guy. He has played here in the U's, and he loves deeply the club, so that's why I think he will be work with me daily on the field. The first I knew was uh, was when I went to pick him up, and uh, he just he just said to me, uh, as far as he was concerned, he just wanted me to be his number two, his assistant. A lot of people were expecting a foreigner, weren't they? I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're saying uh, if he, if that's what he wanted, then he you know he had, he had every right to to uh, bring one in. But obviously, uh, I'm pleased. Wenger will travel to Germany this week with Arsenal to observe his new team, leaving Rice with the job of inspiring a UEFA Cup comeback against Borussia Mönchengladbach. The new man already commands the respect of England's Glenn Hoddle from their Monaco days together, and the Arsenal upstairs hierarchy already look captivated by their capture. As we know, Arsenal have had many off-the-field problems in recent times. What, what is your view of, of what has gone on at the club? My view is that the club was uh, showed the very strong spirit inside the team, but also the board was very strong because they knew, but they could not speak what they wanted to do, and uh, they were quite determined and strong at this period, uh, which was not easy for nobody. So I was quite confident when I saw what's happening here. Of course, the turmoil was created around the club, but I had the feeling always inside the club there was a good uh, 